Hey YouTubers, so I've done tutorials on setting up GarageBand and I've done tutorials on setting up Audacity. I haven't done a tutorial on setting up Twisted Wave, which many of you have or are interested in. So Twisted Wave is an awesome audio editor for voiceovers because it's either mono or stereo. I'm on uh, my browser. You can have um, Twisted Wave on your desktop. You can have it on your phone or iPad. Um, this is for Mac only, and you can have it online. I believe that you can run it with PC. So if you're a PC user, you can't download the, the program or use it on your iPhone or iPad or your iOS device or, um, or, or your smartphone, but you can use it in an online fashion and it works just great like that. Uh, what you do is you would go to um, Mac or whichever one you'd want and you try it now you get a 30-day demo and so I downloaded that or then you can buy it I'm going to open it up and if you click on twisted wave you've got uh, this dialogue will come up saying it's unregistered if you want to register it then you pay for it I'm gonna try the demo again um, first off what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the audio MIDI uh, portion in your computer it's in utilities so if you go to your finder and then you go to utilities um, it would be there it's the audio MIDI audio MIDI setup so it's audio devices I'm using a mic plus for these tutorials uh, there then when you open that up you've got your input and your output if you click input source is default so it's obviously the mic plus you got one in and two outs Format, it can go anywhere between 44, 148, 88, 2, and 96. Um, I recommend 48 for voiceover. Okay, so we're set at 48, and that's your input and your output. So then we can get out of that, and we can open up Twisted Wave. Okay, you're going to open up a, a, a brand new one. You're going to need to do, either do Command N or you're going to go to File New. And this dialog will come up. And it's the settings. So you want your bit depth to be either 16 bit or 24 bit. And your sample rate is going to be 48, not 44, 1. So 48. And we're doing one channel mono because it's one microphone, one voice. And you click OK. It's going to open up a new one. I'm going to go back and go to Untitled and cancel that out so we're at untitled 2 okay here is our window we've got a back button play button forward button record button and then go back go forward buttons zoom in and out once we have something recorded we've got a volume and then a uh, a timeline here is our ruler it's in seconds and so that when you're recording something, you can tell approximately how long your recording is. On the right side is a meter, and you see it goes from minus 60 to zero. Zero to minus six is in the red, minus six to minus 12 is in yellow, and below that is in green. So you want your peaks to kind of get into the yellow here. So what we're gonna do is I've already got my microphone um, plugged in so we're going to click record and you see it's automatically start recording and the meter is working the, the meter is jumping the louder I get um, the louder it will the the meter will reflect I'm going to re read a couple things I'm about six inches away from the microphone okay mic plus highlights studio quality cardioid condenser microphone pure digital connection for pristine quality pure digital connection for Pure digital connection for pristine sound quality up to 24-bit. Headphone output with blend feature offers zero latency recording. Made in the USA. Okay, so that's just me reading. Let's call that an audition. Okay, so I'm going to press the space bar to stop. I'm going to press, I'm going to click on this minus button up here at the top to zoom out. And that's going to show everything. When, when that zoom out is kind of faded, that means that you're zoomed out to everything. So we're going to press play, which would be the space bar. And you see it's automatically start recording and the meter is working. The meter is jumping. The louder I get, um, the louder it will. Okay, so I've got a lot of stuff here that I don't need. A couple things. I'm about six inches away from the microphone. Okay, mic plus highlights. Studio quality card here. All right, so I'm getting into the 
into the yellow there. Okay, so there's a bunch of this stuff that we don't need. Notice this yellow line. That is called, that's the playhead. It's gonna go across from left to right and play what you recorded. Okay, if you go here and you click before that, I know that all of this stuff is just me talking before I started. This is this is the recording part right here. So I'm gonna click there and I'm going to click and drag to the left. I don't need that stuff. So I'm gonna press the delete button. There's a number of ways that you can do this. I'm gonna hit Command Z, which is undo. You can hit Command X to delete. I'm gonna hit Command Z again to undo. You could also go up to File, uh, edit, cut, and that will get rid of it. Then you press your back button to get to the beginning of your recording and press the space bar. Okay, mic plus highlights. Studio quality card here and condenser microphone. Pure digital connection for pristine quality. Pure digital. Okay, I didn't like that. I said I smacked my lips and then said okay, so I'm going to cl click from there and get rid of that. Do the same thing, delete that. Starting at the beginning. And then I screwed up, so we're going to edit that out. Mic plus highlights. Studio quality card here and condenser microphone. Pure digital connection for pristine quality. Pure digital connection for... Pure digital connection for pristine... Okay, so I screwed that up two times. I'm going to go here. This is the first screw up, and then that's the second screw up, and then from here on I did it correctly. So I'm going to go from the beginning there, and I'm going to click and drag to the right. Then I'm going to let go. And I'm going to hit the delete button, and all of that's going to go away. Now, if I hit the back button, go to the beginning. Mic plus highlights. Studio quality card here, condenser microphone. Pure digital connection for pristine sound quality up to 24 bit. Headphone output with blend feature offers zero latency recording. Made in the USA. Okay, so that's. All right, so then now after that, I've got a bunch of extra stuff here at the end that I don't need. So I'm going to click here where it says. This is made, made in the USA. Made in the USA. Okay. And after that, I'm going to click and drag to the right because I don't need any of that stuff. I'm going to hit delete. And I'm left now with, what? Mic plus highlights. Studio quality card here and condenser microphone. Pure digital connection for pristine sound quality up to 24-bit. Headphone output with blend feature offers zero latency recording. Made in the USA. Okay. So there's my recording and it is about 13 seconds. So now I want to save it, and I want to turn it into a file that I can send out to somebody, and I'm going to go to Save, or Command S, and it's, this dialog is going to open up. I'm going to call this Twisted Wave Test Record. I'm going to put this in a folder on my desktop, and I've got folders already made in, in on my desktop you could click new folder here I go click on desktop then I've got this auditions folder I'm gonna put it in my auditions folder this is the file format you can go any way you want you can make any of these AIFF uh, but for the most part everybody's gonna be doing mp3s so then click on the 224 kilobits per second button over here it might say something different for you and this is going to be an mp3 dialogue on on the settings for your mp3 you want joint stereo we're going to send out a stereo file even though we just recorded it as mono the encoding quality goes from nine to zero anywhere over two two one or zero is fine depending on how fast your computer is but probably zero is fine the bit rate anywhere between 192 and above is fine i'm keeping it at 224 you can go up to 320 if you want. Um, your file size is going to be bigger. If you're sending something that's very long, you might want to have a lower bit rate to keep the file size down because you can only email up to 25 megabytes. And so I'm going to click OK. And so then now we've got this there. It's going to go into, I'm going to save it. It's going to save it into my folder. And now it calls it Twisted Wave Record. So if we get out of that, and go to our finder, it's in my folder, which I've already opened on my desktop. You click it once and hit your space bar. Mic plus highlights, studio quality card here and condenser microphone, pure digital. 
And that's how you set up Twisted Wave for voiceover.